irrespective of sujood or sahw, when do you uh, pray the sujood before taslim, when do you pray it after? For ordinary people, it doesn't matter. If you forgot one rak'ah or two or the middle tashahud or whatever you recited, uh, or if you, if you forgot to recite uh, the surah after and you want to pray sujood or sahw, or you were confused how many rak'ahs you prayed, so whether you pray the two prostrations before taslim or after, both are valid. But if you want to be very precise, so there are two conditions during which that it is recommended to make the uh, prostrations for forgetfulness, which means you will make another taslim. This is when you pray short of one or two rakahs, then you're reminded and you make them up. So in this case, you sit for tashahud, you recite tashahud, you make taslim, and then you pray two prostrations for forgetfulness and you make another taslim. The second case is whenever you're confused, you're not certain how many rakahs you prayed. So the Prophet ﷺ said, you should consider the lesser. You should consider what? The lesser. You pray, uh, you're not sure whether you prayed three or four. Consider them three. Yeah, it means I have to pray another rakah. Then after you pray and you make taslim, you make another two prostrations for forgetfulness and you make another taslim.